Yo, 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 what is up, YouTube? It's your boy ZT Speed back at it again with another Diablo Immortal video. And today, it's going to be a little bit different of a video. I'm going to do a solo dungeon just showcasing one of the things they brought with the new update while talking about how I see the game right now. So, you know, the last few updates, there's been good, there's been bad. They've been releasing more and more um, opportunities for free-to-play slash low spenders to get uh, two out of five legendary gems, which is great. Um, that's something they need in this game. You know, the gems are what equate to resonance, um, and resonance is 99% of your power. The only issue with that is it's going to take 40 weeks. 40 freaking weeks. One of my uh, clan members, JKG Brandon, actually pointed out that you can make a baby quicker than you could get a 2 out of 5 star gem. And here's the issue too. It's not even like there's a chance for you to get a 3, 4, or 5 out of 5. It's always locked to be 2 out of 5. So not only does it take super long, 40 weeks to get, but you're just going to get a 2 out of 5. You know, they've been updating they they've been updating the dungeons. We can now do them solo, which is nice, but they never fixed the dungeons. You know, we need better rewards. They added that extra bonus chest, but they also nerfed the drop rates of Hell 5. And what's sad is the drop rates were already so bad, but now they're even worse. It's really frustrating because these these developers, Blizzard, Netties, whatever, who's doing this. They are putting themselves in a situation where they say, look at this update for you guys. Let's help the player base. But it's actually not helping us at all. In fact, it's <laughs> pushing us away more. Because, um, if, frankly, if this is the best they got for us, I think 99.9% .9 of the players are just done at this point. I mean, even me. I'm one, of, I'm one of the steadiest grinders in our clan. Our clan is one of the most active clans in the game. I'm way below server Paragon. You can see that I'm actually doing this live. 272. I'm 262. And there's no freaking reason for me to catch up. I'm still stronger than 90% of the players that are like grinding level 272, 280. Be just solely because I spent more money than them. And sure, it's a pay to win game. I get that. But when 99.9% or .9 of your power comes from spending money... We're stuck in this loop of like, okay, we're farming the game. We're having farm funding the game, having fun farming the game. But wait a minute. Why are we farming the game? We don't get shit rewards. Like, I mean, I would be surprised if I get a set item or a legendary item, but set items are really all I care about when, uh oh, uh oh, we're farming dungeons. Um, but even if I did get a set item, which is such a low chance, now there's there's another there's like a what 12% chance to get the piece that you're looking for and even if you get the piece that you're looking for after all that RNG there's like a 99% chance that it's not even going to be useful but um basically what I'm trying to say is all these updates for the game to make it you know quote unquote better they're not really making it that much better sure objectively having a system in game to farm two out of five legendary gems is okay but that doesn't fix the hundreds of bugs that i have to deal with on a daily basis since the game has been launched um and not only with all these bugs does it like kill the game and ruin my enjoyment of it but now i'm playing a buggy game with no rewards other than i mean okay i'll be honest with you the rewards that i get from this game come from my friends and hanging out with them in Discord. I would literally not turn this game on if I didn't if I wasn't able to play with my friends and shoot the shit with them and have a great time. Like literally the lifeblood of this game is just me hanging out with my friends, which made me also realize, you know, I don't really do well, I don't play FPS much anymore. Um that was something I did back in the day a lot more. But like I was playing or I was hang out with the boys and we we're all playing overwatch 2 last night unfortunately i wasn't able to play with them because another blizzard issue but we, despite that we we're having a ball in voice chat uh i was watching them play and it was so fun like and i realized like why are we playing this game like i don't get me wrong this is a great game there's great things about it but 
if every update they're going to say, oh, look at this amazing stuff we did for you guys, and it's not amazing, then, like, I don't know. I can only take so many updates like that. And, you know, even though I'm not enjoying the game a ton right now with all the invisible bugs, um, all the necro bugs, all the wizard bugs, like, the other thing that I get pissed off about is all the bugs solely benefit necros and wizards almost. Almost solely, they're all, almost all helping those guys. And, like, for me, the bugs are that my Undying Rage doesn't proc, that my Gladiator doesn't proc, that both don't proc. And when I'm a barb and I go straight into battle against, like, you know, a few 5Ks, 6Ks sometimes, because that's BGs for you, and then I just instantly die, it's like, well, that was fun. But yeah. You know, I don't like to do negative videos, but I just want to do a quick video talking about how I feel about this game. I There's so much more I can talk about. So many systems in this game that are w wasted. Like, the the rune system with the legendary crest or the rare crest that's a waste of time waste of money um it i don't know i just want this game to be better because it's visually so appealing they need to fix all the bugs then they need to figure out the whole pay to win system to and make it to where we can grind resonance even if it's 10 resonance a day or five resonance a day at least over time, people can try and catch up and get to their 2k goal or 3k goal. It shouldn't be, oh, I stopped spending money, so I have no way to increase power anymore. And yep, got my... I got a really cool pair of gauntlets, and I got a nice half-moon axe. Thank you for the dungeon. But yeah, I spent how long doing that dungeon, and I got nothing for it. Well, maybe I should go again. And see if I have another opportunity to get set items. Alright guys, I I'm going to leave. But thank you for tuning in. Sorry to be negative, but it is what it is. I just wanted to say what I wanted to say. Anyway, peace.